Hello everyone, it's Niven, and today I am doing Copper Cube 6 tutorial video. Copper Cube 6 is a game engine which is available for free. Link is in the description, you can download it and follow along. Today I am making a tutorial about text, how to make text in the game, and basically how to use 2D item overlay. As I say this, in the beginning of every tutorial, we have five main screens. We have Scene Graph Explorer, Properties, Prefabs, Textures, and the main scene. Let's delete Startup Skybox. Let's delete the cube. And now let's make text. How to make text? We go to Create, and right down here, we create 2D item overlay. When we click on this, it creates a box. I've talked about this when I was trying to make a clickable button tutorial and you can check it out, it's on my channel. But now I don't want this text to be... I mean, I don't want this to be a button, rather I want this to be text. So, we go to the properties of this overlay, as you can see, we have a name, let's name this text1. And now, if we go down, we have different options. We have position, we have rotation, which we can also control from the upper control window. This is move, select, rotate, scale, and so on. So I can scale this like this. And I can also move it like that. So, and here we have background color, which I talked about. You can choose any color. Let's choose black. And alpha. The more the alpha, the more the color becomes the background. The less the color, it fades and it becomes transparent. Let's keep this on 200. And now we have our main option, which is image or draw text. We do draw text. When we click on this, we will have four main options. We have text where we actually put our text. We have alignment. We can do it top left, center, or multi-line. We also have the text color, and we have font and numeration. Let's just do text something as simple as hello. If we click OK, we have hello right here. Let's create a camera. We go to create camera simple camera okay this camera doesn't doesn't need to be anywhere close to the text or uh, far away from the text because this is to the overlay item which means it always stays at the same position if we go to publish and test we have a text which says hello now as i said we have three options we can change the alignment of the text we can say top left which creates the text being on top left we can change it to multi-line and center. Let's do center at this point. We can change the color of the text. Uh, let's say we want it red. Or let's say we want it blue. Here you have. But let's keep it white because uh, white shows up really good on black. And we have right here the option for the fonts. And we click on that. It takes some time to load, at least for my PC. And uh, we have all the different uh, fonts here. Change uh, the size of the text, let's say 48. Click OK, and it says Big Hello. Now if we click on Play, it says Hello. That's basically how you make text. You can rotate it, um, move it around, and uh, yeah, if we click on Press, here it says Hello. But, what if we want the text to appear and disappear? What do we do then? We go and create simple terrain. Or let's create a room. We click on OK. Now, let's create, instead of camera, let's go to camera, delete camera. Let's go to create a camera and first person shooter camera. We click on publish. And here we have text which follows us because it's on the camera and it 
just says hello. But what if we don't want this text to be visible? We just click on the text and we check the mark here, which is visible, and we uncheck it. If we go to play, now we cannot see the text. But what if I want the text to appear? In this case, we should have a behavior for the text. Personally, behavior depends on what you're trying to make with the game. Uh, for example, if you want the text to appear and disappear during a specific area, then you create a behavior of uh, being close to something. Or if you have a character which you want to talk, you create a different dialogue style behaviors. Now that's more advanced, so I won't be talking about it right now. I'll be talking about basics because this is basics tutorial. So as you can see, I can make text visible and invisible. Well, here's the thing. We can make text invisible. Then we can click on, uh, then we can create, uh, let's say cube, right? And we place this cube far away in the corner like that, right? When we click on publish, we can go to this cube, right? Now, what if I want the text to appear when I go to this cube? It's simple. You go to behavior and we go to behavior triggered by events and on proximity do something. So basically, if the player is close to the cube, it shows the text. Now, how we do it? We do the test area, which is sphere or box. Let's do box. Uh, we do the size, let's say uh, 30, 30, and, and 30. Uh, this is big enough. And then we do near to what? And we also choose a C note. It does automatically choose current active camera, but just in case you choose a C note and you choose camera manually. It says enter radius, so when it enters radius, it activates, or we can do when it leaves the radius. Let's put when enters radius, action not set. Now what we want to do when the camera gets closer to the cube? We want them to see the text. So click on plus, hide or unhide the scene node, toggle visibility, which means that it's visible. You can make it visible or invisible. Let's toggle visibility, change which scene node we go to text, OK, click OK. And now when we play and we get close to this cube mesh, it says hello. Now, as you can see, when we go away or we get close to it, it kind of appears and disappears. So we can control this. We can control this by making another behavior and other behavior triggered by events on proximity do something, create sphere. Just copy all the settings. So let's do box 30, 30, 30, 30. We choose this manually. Always remember that. It just helps you to be more um, cautious about what you're making with the game, doing with the game. That's why I never do everything automatically on default. I always choose everything manually. Now, we have our first one which says leave i mean enter the radius now we have to make second one to say leave radius and we do the same action hide or unhide a c node now we want the text to go invisible and we choose the text and we go to play test and that's it it says hello where we are near the box and when we go away it doesn't it says hello and when we go back it doesn't that's it. That's sim simple text animation. Uh, that's done basically with CopperCube 6, without any coding, without any scripting. If you want, of course, to make text to be kind of written during the gameplay inside the game, of course, that's more advanced uh, logic and that's more advanced scripting. Uh, but as I say, at the end of every uh, tutorial, I think what matters is your personal craft, your personal reference, your research, and how you kind of brainstorm the game, how you want the game to be functional. And I always say, the limit is only your imagination. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section. and. 
yeah, thanks. Have a good day.